Parents, if you were looking forward to getting your young children vaccinated for COVID-19, the FDA pumped the brakes on authorizing the Pfizer vaccine for those five and younger. News for Jack supporter Bree Isom tells us why a local doctor says this is concerning. Children five years old and younger still have to go a while longer without a COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA said Friday it had become clear the agency needs to wait for data on how well a third shot works for the age group. Dr. Jonathan Cantor, who's a scholar at the Penn Center for Global Health, weighed in on this decision. So do you think it was a good move? We're only deciding whether a two or three dose series is going to be approved. Well, in that case, you've decided then that you've got enough data to decide on the safety, at least, of that two dose series. Because even if only 1% of kids are getting hospitalized, I mean, I would not want one child on my conscience knowing that they could have gotten vaccinated, they could have started their series. As of Friday, 64% of eligible people in Duval County have at least one dose of the vaccine. Cantor says he'd like to see that number go up. I've read that like Omicron doesn't really take the vaccine. Like the vaccine's not gonna do too much with the Omicron variant. I mean, definitely, you know, we know that Omicron is a little more vaccine resistant, but magically with that extra third dose, people were really much, much more protected and were really getting great protection against Omicron. Rosa Colbert lost three family members to COVID, so she's concerned that not everyone can get vaccinated yet. Okay, if they can't get vaccinated, I suggest that their parents try to keep a mask or something on or protect them. Pfizer said in a statement that it expects the data on how well the shots work for the five and younger age group to come out by early April. Brie Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.